We're hanging out here at O'Shea backstage, joined by Fauzia. How are hey, you? I'm really good, thank you. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. Can I say marhaba? Oh yeah, marhaba. Thank you. I lived in Dubai for six years. You did? So I know a little bit, a little bit of lingo. Salam alaikum. Uh, nope. <laughs> well, alaikum salam. Yes! What do you mean, though? You have it. Uh, I'm just playing it cool. I'm playing <laughs> it down. Um, how does it feel to be home, at least in, in Canada, oh home? Oh my gosh. Uh, I'm performing at a festival. It feels so amazing. Um, it feels so surreal to be here, especially after the last few weeks. I was in Europe and Tunisia, and um, it's just been like so many shows and so many, so many cool experiences all at once. I feel like. I don't know how to take it all in. I know? bet, yeah, the Citizens Tour, uh, how was the European leg that you just wrapped? Oh my gosh, it was so much fun. Uh, the fawns, as I call them in Europe, were so, <laughs> so sweet and they knew every single word and the energy was just amazing. Yeah, uh, was there a particular city that, that you just like to go and visit or perform at? Um, I mean, every single one of them was very exciting for me because I had just learned so much about them growing up and especially like when I was in Paris and I went to go see the Eiffel Tower. Yeah. I was like, this is it. Like, that's that's insane. Yeah. Um, Did you feel like Emily in Paris? Have a you little seen bit. That show? I, I didn't see it, no. but I but I've seen like snippets. Bowsia in Paris. Yes. <laughs> the sequel. Um, but yeah, it was it was so crazy. Yeah. And you're big into your fashion, which I don't even need to say. I mean, oh, look at you. Um, thank you. So is that was that why Paris was was high up on your list just because oh, of the fast the oh fashion? Oh my there? gosh! Yeah, I felt the vibes. I felt the fashion vibes yeah. when I was there, and yeah, it was so much fun to even just like make like custom fits for this tour. Yeah. Um, Who are you wearing? Do do tell us. So this is custom made and styled by Vincent Smith. Um, he's been I've been working with him for a while now, and he's been awesome. It's been so much fun working with him. He really understands like my vision and what I want to be as an artist, and it's been awesome. So how did you two meet, you and Vincent? Um, you know, like we found his Instagram page actually, and I instantly felt a connection to like his work and like the way he styled other people and his vision. And when we hopped on a Zoom. He really just like started like jotting notes down, like okay, this is what she likes, this is what she doesn't like, this is what she wants to be perceived as, da 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 da. And he was just very serious, and I really like loved that and um, admired that. And so, literally the first time I worked with him, he immediately got it, and that's what really struck me like by surprise because, you know, it takes like a lot of trial and error. But with him, he yeah. understood it right away, and it was, it's been you know. There's only one person I trust, or maybe two. I've got to be careful what I say with 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 what I wear, and yeah. that's my mum and my girlfriend. Okay, you know what? Those are two very good choices. They keep me right. Yeah, I think. Absolutely. I disappoint them a lot, but no, no. <laughs> I mean, your girlfriend and your mom. Yeah. Yes. They're they're the dream team. They are. Uh, so talk to me about citizens. Mm -hmm. I want to know why it's called that, because there's not a song on there called that. No. So um, why the name? So Citizens came about um, as I was working on like a body of work and so I had so many songs and I couldn't fit them all on my project and so I knew that I wanted to split it into two different sections and so Citizens came about as the part one, the prequel of my debut album and so... Which is called... It's a surprise! <laughs> I haven't said it yet! <laughs> I almost got you! Um, and tell me, there's only eight or nine songs on citizens yeah so citizens has eight songs i believe which is like pretty long um but long i mean for like a prequel it's not a it's not a it's not an album okay so it's like long for like a so non it's like the trailer yeah exactly yeah. it's actually exactly yeah yeah there you go um it starts with a bang r.i.p love sorry oh. r.i.p pause love <laughs> comma love the middle eastern vibe thank you was that one of the first songs like did you put them in order of when you made them or how did you pick the order? No, the order was just based on, I wanted people to play the project and feel 
just like really immersed in it and feel like it made sense and it flowed really well. And so I based it kind of on the flow of the songs and I wanted it to just feel good listening to it. Is that how you plan out your set list as well? Actually, yeah. Um, I like to, you know, have a good mix between up tempo and slow songs because I feel like it's pretty half and half. Um, and I don't want it to be too slow or too fast all yeah. at once. And like, I'm, just, I'm like, losing them. I'm losing them. All right. Literally, I'm like, all right, come on, let's, let's speed it up a <laughs> yeah. bit. Um, so, yeah, exactly. What are your favorite kind of songs to perform at festivals like this and crowds like this? Oh, my gosh. I mean, R.I.P. Love is super, super fun to perform. Uh, just something really up tempo. And even if it's a ballad, when it has like a lot of power and um, just like a lot of strength to it, I like to perform that as well. What are your three favorite things about festivals? Oh. It can be either as a performer or as just someone attending. I think the number one is just the energy. I feel like everyone brings a really good energy at festivals. Um, number two is the variety of artists. It's just like people you would have never thought of, like all in one place that you can just like bounce back and forth and watch. Yeah. And the food. Yes. Have you had anything yet? I haven't had anything yet, but I'm excited. You must be starving. I'm so excited. After that performance, <laughs> yes. do you get hungry after you perform? I get hungry like hours after. Like I feel like I'm on like autopilot. Yeah. And then late at night, I'm like, wait, I'm starving. I haven't eaten. Today. Well, we'll let you go and grab some amazing festival food. Uh, There's poutine, poke bowls, whatever I'm you like. I'm so excited. They've got it. Oh. Um, you might even find some Middle Eastern food as well. Yes. I'm craving some. If you find some, let me know. I'll let you know. Some for falafel, sure. shawarma, <laughs> anything like that. I'm down. I'll let you know. Fauzia, thank you so much for hanging thank out with iHeartRadio Canada. Thank you so much.